In this short video, I'm going to explain how you can connect HubSpot with Webflow. So what you're going to do is you're going to go into your HubSpot account and you're going to go to settings. And in the settings, you're going to want to find your tracking code. So in the left hand side here, you'll be able to find uh, under tracking and analytics, go to tracking code. And then here you will be able to grab your code. So once you're here, you'll be able to copy the code. So just click on copy and then go to your Webflow site that you want to add that code to. So in our case, I'm going to be using our Hub Sprout account. So we're going to go to project settings. And from here, we're going to go to custom code. Before we dive into the rest of the video, we'd like to thank our video sponsor, CartFuel. CartFuel is the easiest and quickest way for you to accept one-time and recurring payments in HubSpot. All you need to do is connect your Stripe or PayPal account, configure your payment form by adding countdown timers, coupons, or order bumps, then copy and paste the code they provide you onto any site, including WordPress or HubSpot pages. Did we mention CartFuel has one-click upsells? That's right, your customers can order more products without having to re-enter their credit or debit card with a single click. But you want to know what's the best part? When a sale occurs with CartFuel, your customer's name, email address, phone number, and products they purchase will teleport into HubSpot. It's like magic. This means you can trigger workflows to boost customer retention and decrease refund rates. All this and more with no custom code needed. Try CartFuel for free for 14 days by clicking the link in the description or comment section of this video. All right, let's get back to the content. And HubSpot recommends that you add this basically into the footer. So what we're gonna do is instead of head code, we're gonna paste that in here. And I noticed here I already have it here. So I'm just gonna delete that and I'm just gonna save it make sure that's in that footer. All right, so that's all you need to do to enable HubSpot on your uh, account. So now once people go to this site, HubSpot will start tracking them and we can make sure that we get the right data from the people that go to our site. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe, hit that like button and leave a comment down below if you have any other suggestions about other pieces of content you would like us to uh, create. Thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next video.